Hi, this is Matt from BitGem, and today I want to show you how to use the multicolor proto shader with the Cube World set. The proto series multi matte or multi shader only works with the universal render pipeline in Unity 2019 and upwards. So the first thing we need to do is convert our project if we have not already to URP. If your project is already a URP project and you just want to know how to use the shader, you can skip ahead to 1 minute 50. To convert our project to URP, we have to go to Windows, Package Manager, and search for the Universal Render Pipeline package and install it. Next, we need to create a Universal Render Pipeline asset. Right click Go to Create, Rendering, Universal Render Pipeline, Pipeline Asset. Next, go to Edit, Project Settings, Graphics, and assign the Universal Render Pipeline Asset to the Pipeline Settings slot. Beautiful! Now let's upgrade our project materials to Universal Render Pipeline materials. Go to Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, Upgrade, Project Materials to Universal Render Pipeline Materials. Alright, that's better. Now let's import our multicolor material. Go to Assets, Import Custom Package, and search for the Proto Multicolor Matte Unity Package. Hit import and there we have it. Next, let's first cover how to apply the material to multiple objects in a scene, which can be tricky, especially when you have lot levels. In the hierarchy, search for Mesh Renderer to reveal all the meshes that the materials can be applied to. Select them all and drag the material into the right slot in the inspector. All right, we are ready to start coloring. On the little cogwheel on the shader, select Create preset to save the default color scheme. Now we can go nuts with color variants. How about turning this dungeon entrance into a fluffy pink candy land? We can create another preset from this new color scheme and start a new one. Save this preset as well, and now it's easy to copy and paste the presets back onto the original material. Changing colors on the multimat is easy. You can just click on the color swatches for each channel and pick a new color from the color wheel. If you run into a dead end with your colors and you want to restore the original color scheme, and you haven't saved it for some reason, you can go back and sample the original colors of the original texture using the color pickers, besides the color swatches. At the center of each strip, you will find the original color.
The color channels in the proto shader are named exactly the same as on the original cube world texture. From left to right on the texture, top to bottom on the shader. However, the shader will work with any other proto series character or asset. All you need to do is look at the original texture of the asset and rename your color channels to match the texture. Then you can sample the colors from the texture, as previously shown. I think this pretty much covers it. If you have any additional questions or any problems, please feel free to reach out to us on support at bitgem3d.com or reach out to us on our Discord channel. Happy coloring!